Hey guys, I'm Shahan from Sky Studios. So today I'm gonna show you guys um, how I made this animation loop. And I have a bunch of other animation loops in my YouTube channel. You guys can check them out as well. And I do character videos as well. So if you guys want me to do more character videos or more animation loops or uh, any other kind of video, just let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I do those videos. So let's get on with uh, today's video. So we're gonna start with deleting everything with selecting everything with A and deleting everything. And we are going to add a cylinder with shift and make the vertices 6 and scale it up in the z-axis and I'm going to add some uh, loop cuts with ctrl R and select proportional editing and with the mouse wheel scroll it down and scale it with shift with uh, scale it scale it down get that curve and now I'm going to tap into edit mode and delete the vertical uh, faces the edges actually uh, so I'm going to select every edge with alt select but the uh, last uh, edge I'm going to select all the vertices uh, all the edges or separately without the alt key and delete them and now I'm going to select the vertices and fill them with F and go to the modify section and add a wireframe modifier and I'm going to take and I'm going to switch on boundary and increase the thickness a bit and I'm going to add an array modifier and add a Bezier curve and scale it up a bit and add a curves modifier and select the Bezier circle we just added and take constant offset I'm gonna make the count 10 and uh, select constant offset and uh, just increase the meters until you guys feel like the gaps are balanced and now I'm going to add the materials so I'm gonna make three emission shaders and add them so I'm going to make one red and another one a blue color and the final one maybe a yellow color and increase the strength to about 10 okay and I'm going to make the world settings I'm going to go to the world settings and making it black and now okay I forgot to make uh, assign the material uh, the materials so I'm going to select the bottom vertices and make it yellow and the top vertices and assign it to make it blue. I'm going to the first frame and I'm going to make the end frame 200 and I'm going to add another cylinder and make the vertices count 6 and scale it up the cylinder and scale it up in the Z axis as well with SZ. And we to the top face and we're going to delete the first and top face and scale it up a bit more as well and I'm going to add my camera now and control alt 0 to place the camera in the top view and with Z you can move it and I'm going to switch on ambient occlusion bloom and uh, increase the intensity of blue which on screen space reflections on as well I'm going to add a, a reflecting material with uh, by increasing the metallic to one and decreasing the roughness to zero and you guys can see I get a cool reflection like this and now we're gonna animate this so make sure you guys go to edit preferences and in animation make the default interpolation to linear and go to the first frame and right click and add a keyframe and go to the last frame and make rotated 360 and make add a keyframe as well now now I'm going to animate the pattern to spin as well so I'm going to first frame and adding keyframe there make, putting it zero and adding keyframe there and uh, you guys can actually play with this you can you can put whatever values you want I'm going to make go to the last frame and in, maybe 360 into 3 and add a keyframe so it rotates three times and uh, you guys can play with the scale, the location, and all the, the y location, the scale, uh, y rotations as well, and get a cool animation out of it. 
so I'm gonna play with my scale so you guys can see uh, I'm gonna add different types of keyframes so frame there minus 8 and a keyframe there and go to the 20th frame and make it 0 and add a key, another keyframe so I get that pattern in my animation and go to the 5th frame and play with the scale a bit so make the scale to about minus 10 and add another keyframe and go back to the 30th frame and make it 1 again make the scale 1 again and add a keyframe and uh, I'm going to send 5th frame and making it 1 again as well so we come back to the original design and uh, I'm going to the final keyframe and adding the same uh, values I had in the first keyframe to the final one so we get a repeat we can get a repeating loop so I'm going to copy and play make the key final key in the final keyframe as well and go into the 20, no, 180th frame and I'm going to change the settings to match in the 150th frame I'm going to scale in the Z axis to about 2 points and I'm going back to the 180th frame and add the keyframes as well so it's really easy to make this animation so you guys can see I'm just playing with the scale and the rotation and adding keyframes so you guys can get any uh, cool patterns the way you like with this so if you guys like my videos please leave a like and subscribe to this channel and also if you guys have any questions uh, leave a comment in the description below I will um, reply to all your comments and uh, so hope you guys have a nice day and uh, see you.